Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas uh, with an explication request. The uh, best free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you're looking for a paid supplement, I highly recommend the Kaplan Q-Bank. Uh, with my 15% discount code at checkout, you can get it uh, Series 7, for example, 50-something dollars. I think it's $30, $40 for an SIE exam. Anyways, for that uh, commercial, we'll help you with any question from any vendor. But uh, for that commercial, Kaplan allows me to give you a free look at Kaplan questions like this. Uh, this was an SIE test taker, but the concept of total return is on both the SIE exam, uh, Series 6 exam, Series 7 exam, and 65 and 66 exams. So I will put them in all the playlists uh, for those various exams. Uh, the only two ways you're going to make money is from income stream and or price appreciation. Now, if an investment has no income stream, then the only way you're going to make money is to sell it to someone else for more than you have paid for it. And, you know, some investments don't have income streams. If there's an income stream, there's two ways to potentially make money. The income stream and or price appreciation. You know, uh, a lot of times that might be a good uh, proposition, right? I think, okay, well, I can get some income and I also can get some price appreciation. And while I'm waiting on the price appreciation, if it shows or ever does, I'm getting a little bit of an income stream. Uh, by the way, it could be a minus number as well, right? All right, so let's get this question on. A customer purchased 100 shares of stock two years ago. So that's called your cost basis. That's simply, whoop, that's simply when you turn the investment into the money. So there is our cost basis per share. They now sell the shares for 23. So sales proceeds is when you turn the investment back into money. So we've actually made $3 there. It says the last two years, m and has paid a 25 cent quarterly dividend. So four times a year for two years, that's $2 in dividends. So I have made from this investment $3 in price appreciation, 23 minus 20. I've made $2 in income. So I've made a total of $5. And to capture that $5, I spent $20. So now I take the five, I divide by 20. And the answer to the question from price appreciation, the income stream is I made 25%. That is the answer. I would be prepared to do total return and I would be prepared to do a current yield. There's a couple of formulas. Now in the SIE, if you tell me that you missed your mark on the SIE because of math, I'm going to say, eh, I don't know if I believe that. You might have to deal with, uh, you know, adjusting the cost base for a stock split, current yield, maybe total return. That's was the uh, request came from an SIE test taker. Uh, but, you know, that's not going to be make or break in terms of getting that, uh, making your mark. All right. Well, I hope you found that helpful. Uh, remember, uh, inch by inch, your exam's a cinch. Yard by yard, your exam is hard. And I'll see you for the next explication request.